Hello guys, I know I'm late to the Squid Game party, but you know what? You know what? It doesn't matter, okay? One day I laid on a couch like a lazy person and I scrolled through TikTok. Yeah, I know, the respect that you might have had for me went right out of the window there. Anyways, I saw that someone had found the Squid Game Island and I went like, wow, that's kind of cool. Then I went, I should make that. And that is what I did. I recreated the entire Squid Game Island and the Squid Game facility. First, I found the island myself on Google Earth. It's so funny that someone added a VIP lounge there. So I took a screenshot of it and recreated the entire island in Wall Painter. And there it is. I downscale the island somewhat. It's like one third of the real size or close to that. I did that so that the island will be more recognizable and have taller looking mountains. But I'm honestly very happy with how this island came out. I think it looks very nice. But before we start building, I want you to know that this map is available to download via my Patreon. So if you want to support me there and get a cool map at the same time, go there. And I've also launched this new map store. And we're giving away this map to the first 50 people. Use code WOW free map. And here's the crazy part, the map is available on Java, Windows 10 and also Pocket Edition, so you can play on this on your phone if you like. Then I just began building, I just let myself loose and started building. The first thing that I wanted to build was a red light green light game. Very simple build, just a huge rectangular box with some blue walls. I have to be honest and say that I did not do much pre-planning, I was more like yeah this look about right when it comes to size and stuff. I'm not very good either at when it comes to building statues, so you tell me does this girl here look good? Anyway, we are nearly done here and I built the entry point. It's supposed to be three houses, but I could only fit two. But you know, I think that's fine. I just, I don't want to expand this box further into the mountains or even touch the beach. So this will just do. For this part, I had to turn off my shaders as it's too dark otherwise. But I quickly began mining into the mountain and constructed a tunnel of some sort. And there we have it. The red light, green light game is complete. I gotta say, this looks really, really good. Let us play. I know it, I, there's no scripts. So I can play it or pretend to play, but nothing bad will happen, you know? Okay, that was uh, disturbing. I don't know about you guys, but I would have never, never have signed up for a game like this. But hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, please drop a like for me. That, that would just be awesome. More people will end up seeing this video and I would just be forever grateful. Thank you. Let's go outside again and build something more interesting. Let's build the stairway room. Uh, I don't know what else to call it, but you know the room where the players and workers walk around in? This will be more or less the center of the Squid Game facility. I couldn't find any blueprints or drawings of the actual facility online, so with most most of these builds, I am taking a lot of liberties and just doing it my own way. But uh, what do you guys think of this room? Leave a comment with your favorite room that I made. Then I just quickly copy and pasted the room into my cave and connected it to my previous tunnel. I also constructed an extra big room, similar to the waiting room that we see from the show, but this is not it. This is just another room that I made and those red doors on the left there, we will use them later. I'm kind of just building whatever I feel like at the moment. And now we're building the player's sleeping slash waiting room. I just love how simple many of these rooms are. They're just huge walls for the most part. I decided to place the beds on only one side as I wanted this space to be as large and open as possible. And finally I made a ball of money in the ceiling, or gold in this case. Actually it's supposed to be a pig, but I kept it simple for myself and just made a hollow ball. Then there's lighting. Lighting up these rooms are hard, especially with shaders. I did find out much later though that I can add invincible light sources, so I will come back here to fix that. The room is complete and I copy and pasted it into the facility and at the same time I made those register machines that the players used before the first game. Remember to smile guys! In the show I remember they brought all of the players to the island on boats and then drove cars into a tunnel somewhere at the beach to enter the facility. So I just found a spot that I liked and I dug into the rocks. I kept it simple and plain. Just a small tunnel big enough for cars to drive in into the facility. And at the end of the tunnel I made a huge, huge empty room. This is where they prepare the players before dumping them into the main waiting room. And there we have it. Here's where the players, the workers and even the VIPs enter the squid game. Just a short drive from the beach into the big empty room. I also went ahead and quickly connected a path from this room to the colorful stairway room. But this won't be the only entry point as I plan to add more soon. Okay, so the workers had their own rooms as well, if you can call it that. Looks more like a prison cell if you ask me. So I picked a door at the lowest area in the stairway room and I began building a pathway to their sleeping rooms. Very simple design, just a green floor and white walls. And their sleeping rooms are tiny. Just a a single toilet with a bed and a small bench or a sink I can't remember. And after making one room I just copied it and pasted it all around the hallway. And I'm going to add more of these rooms for every worker rank. 
Now, I want to build the main waiting room. The room where all of the players waited and prepared to play the next game. Like when I picked teams for Tug of Wars and when I looked for a partner to play marbles. I started constructing this at the very top level of the stairway room. The room is huge, very clean and all white. There's like a bridge or a balcony that the players walk on to get down to the bottom floor. I still didn't know about the invincible lights, so I had to use trapdoors again to hide my light sources. I will come back and fix that later. Apparently though, the room was facing a direction that didn't work, so I rotated the entire thing and at the same time I built an extra room. And there we have it, the room is complete, or nearly. As I've said, I will add more lights and add a door down there that leads to some games. Speaking of games, let's make a new game room, more specifically, the glass bridge one. I simply just deleted a huge chunk of blocks to give myself some breathing room. Then I filled and fixed the walls to stop all the water leaks and stuff. I started building the platform on the opposite side. This entire game room had a circus look, very colorful and full of lights. So I began working on the ceiling, it's supposed to look like the top of a tent I believe, with a bunch of lights, and I filled the empty space between the lights with cyan, red and purple wool, and finished it off with a huge golden lamp in the center. I moved on and worked on the walls. Started by making some huge red curtains, and then turned all of the walls blue, and finally made some long red banners with some extra hanging lights. We are nearly done and I made the entrance door to the game and finished it off by making the red and black chessboard floor at the bottom. And it's done, I'm very happy with the look of this one. And here you can see me playing the game, I am doing very well as you can see, but uh, that is because none of the glass can currently break. But I did add a script for that later and it currently works, and I will show you later in the video. But uh, how does the players get to the glass bridge? They can't, so let's make a way. I am taking a lot of liberties here, and this is definitely not accurate. I think the room is supposed to be right next to the white waiting room. And I'm curious, I believe both of Tug of War and the Glass Bridge game is taking place in the same room. Is that true? You let me know. But on this map I'm gonna have two separate rooms, as I want to have both games. Anyway, I just made a simple dark hallway coming from the white waiting room going all the way to the Glass Bridge game. I also made a shortcut from the stairway room and connected it to this hallway too. Let's jump somewhere else. I want to build the entire Squid Game facility and that means I must include other less interesting stuff. Like the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom where that uh, very attractive girl- No, not her. No, uh not her, yes her, when she snuck up in events and uh, stuff. Once the bathroom was done, I moved on and made a kitchen, yes, yes, the kitchen where they made those tasty cookies. And there we have it, a simple bathroom and a kitchen. Now, I want to build an elevator, an elevator going from a large big empty room down to the player's sleeping area, just to have a short and simple way of moving all of the players down there. And there we have it, the players will come into this room, get undressed and get dressed with their player suits and sent to the bed. And here's the elevator. Uh, I don't know how to make those. But hey, while we're at it, let's make the elevator go even deeper. Down to where all of the dead players are brought and uh, where they get scorched. Not a, not a place anyone wanna end up in. Just imagine the smell. Okay, so let's build another game room. And this time, we're making the marble game. You know, the game that had the biggest betrayal ever. Oh, you, you piss me off. So I guess it's supposed to be a bunch of uh, alleyways mixed together. And it's also taking place in a small village, it seems like. I just decided to give myself full creative control once more and design it the way I want. It will go so much faster, just as long as it resembles the actual game and it looks good, I think I'm fine. Started by just making a simple layout and slowly decorate it. I used multiple of different blocks to try to make it as vibrant and detailed as possible. I wonder if this is the same room where they play the, the cookie cu uh, cutting game? I am uh, not making that by the way. But hey, we are almost done. The streets are detailed, the sky is orange, there's, there's many rooftops and full of vegetation. It's good. Yes, the marble game is complete. And there's suddenly a bunch of bats flying around in here. Kinda like it. It, ma it makes the entire atmosphere feel better. So I'm gonna keep those guys in here. Now, we're gonna make my favorite game room, the tug of war. I began constructing in a dark hallway, close to the glass bridge game. This was also just a big empty room. Then I made those yellow constructing looking bridges and platforms. And finally, I started building the two tall cranes, where the game takes place. This was the moment I learned about the invincible lights, and I placed them all over here. We're done! This is the tug of war game room. Now, this is definitely my favorite room. I just love everything about this. Especially the contrast between black and yellow. But please let me know which one you like the most. And I just want to continue talking about nothing just so that I can use more footage of this room Obviously the elevators doesn't work But I did add ladders inside both of the cranes so that you can climb up and if we jump to the very bottom You can see that I've connected the furnace room and the glass bridge game room all together So down here the workers can drive around and collect all of the dead bodies and burn them right away 
There's not much left for me to make in the Squid Game facility, but I cannot forget about the VIP feeder room. I started building this one right next to the Death Bridge game, just made a big hole and began building the interior. The room is very fancy, a lot of black and gold details, and full of fake vegetation. The colorful island in the middle is the VIP personal viewing spaces, I guess. Most of this room is nearly done, I just added as many details as I could all over the place. There's also a staircase going down to this viewing gallery, so I made that. And I used a lot of netherite blocks to make this uh, really seem expensive. In the corner I continued making a staircase going even higher, and I made sure to make it look good. But this path goes up to the second viewing gallery. Yes, we're gonna have both viewing galleries. Before showcasing everything with shaders, I like to make the VIPs personal sleeping and resting rooms. Each room has their own bathroom and two extra rooms, and of course, a very large and comfy bed. And from that bed, they can look at a huge TV or just look into a cave. We are finally done here. The VIP theater or viewing gallery, whatever you want to call it, it's done. Here they will walk down to their seats and sit down and be served drinks and just enjoy watching other players dying. Th very good people. And here's how it looks from the Glassbridge game. I gotta say, I'm, I'm very proud of this room also. But let's explore further. This is the hallways that lead to the VIP's room. Nothing too crazy inside them however. I didn't do much interior. But I think it looks cozy. I don't think we ever saw this during the show either, so I'm just building whatever I want. But let's get out of here and move up the stairs and go to the second viewing gallery. Here's where the VIP stood and watched the final game of the Squid Games. The final game was actually taking place in the same location where they played Red Light Green Light. I'm very glad that I managed to have both viewing galleries so close to one another, as that is what makes most sense. We're getting really close to the end now. And right now I just want to do some minor things to connect and populate the facility. So first I made a short secure hallway going to the VIP area. I copy and pasted another sleeping area for the workers. And I felt like there was many unknown doors and rooms in the Squid Game facility and I have no clue what I should add in them. But uh, since I've taken so many creative choices already, why not just do more? And I began making the end room. Yeah, the end room. A room with a portal that leads you to the end. Because why not? But I wasn't done there, and I made another Minecraft room that leads to the nether. And why stop there? Let's make an enchantment room too! <laughs> And now the Squid Game facility has gotten some new cool rooms. We got a room that leads you to the end. And not too far away you can find a room that takes you to the nether. But before going to any of those places you should go to the library and do some enchantments. I've been building for a very long time now. And I would love to release this video before summer. So I'm going to make the last couple of rooms and areas. And now we're making the security room. The room where the workers observe the players and also other workers. I don't understand this. I would love to learn more about these workers. Let's move on and build the frontman office room. This is built right under the observing room. I included four extra rooms. I assume there's a bed and a bathroom in there. Then I made a couch where he can sit in peace and just watch the games. And let us not forget about the hidden archive room with all the secret documents. Documents. And let's finish this room by making a secret exit cabinet. Another room done. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. And then finally, 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 I made a hidden underwater cave thing. I forgot how this looked too, to be honest. So I just did it really quickly and I placed a chest with some uh, water breathing inside. And that's it. Okay, you guys. It's, uh, it's done. I'm done. I'm done. And I'm gonna give you guys a tour, a quick tour. So let's just enter the, uh, in, enter the Squid Game facility. Here we're in, oh my goodness, there's so many zombies now. I did have an issue earlier, I did fix that. But, uh, but I, had, I had an issue where Endermans kept uh, removing blocks. So we can go down here, we're not gonna do that, we're gonna enter the stairway room. And here we got the stairway room, really nice room. And if we, I really wanna show you the scripts. Look at this, I had this guy, I forgot to include that. We got one of the workers. Yeah. <laughs> I should have added more of them, but I didn't. Okay, let's go to the this the glass bridge, the glass bridge game, and now I have scripts. Uh, I did this uh, a couple of days ago, so I don't remember what glass breaks. And I also had added an invincible blocker, so you can't go on the sides. This is on that's <laughs> this is honestly this is the only like playable game that I have. Anyways, jump Ooh, very well. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna jump there. Oh my goodness, I'm right. Uh, and now I'm gonna go there. Oh, I'm so good at this. Um, you know what? One more time. No, nope. okay, that was a mistake. I died. But hey, at least uh, I managed to get five uh, glass. Here's the sad part though. Uh, the script that I have only works for Java version, so if you were to download this map on um, Windows 10 or uh, Pocket Edition, uh, those scripts won't work. But uh, on Java, you can press this button here. You get teleported here, you can respawn all the glass, and then you go back again. 
Aha, uh -huh, and the glass that I broke is, uh, is, is back. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. That is, what you guys do for me is really awesome. And I hope you guys will enjoy this map too. I am releasing this video now in December and you might see it around Christmas. So I just want to wish you a happy, happy Christmas. Is that how you say it? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That is, <laughs> I, w I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. And um, yeah, hope you guys left a uh, like for me and uh, I hope you guys also left a comment with the, with the favorite area that I made. I really hope you guys did. Talk to you guys soon.